This might be one of the biggest mistakes you might be making while applying for jobs. If you are someone who's consistently applying for multiple jobs and not editing your resume according to the job description, that, that's a big no-no, my friend. But guess what? That's exactly what I'm here for, to give you guys a hack, an online resource, a Google Chrome extension that will help you edit your resume in less than 10 seconds according to each and every job description that you go through. So let's get into it. Before I do that, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button because it helps us to provide you guys with more such good content related to job applications. Do that. Now let's get into it. The name of the game, the Google Chrome extension, the online resource that I was mentioning is none other than Jobalytics. Now, what does this do? How to use this? Let's get into that. Let's type it together, J-O-B-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S dot co, Jobalytics. Ah, such a beautiful Google Chrome extension. It has helped me so much for editing my resumes and getting multiple interviews. Now, how it can be helpful for you? Let's do that. So go ahead, type this down, get to this page, and click Add to Chrome. Once you add it to your Chrome, I have already added it to my Chrome, so I'm going to remove it for you guys and add it again. Let's do that together. All right, add to Chrome. It's gonna say add to Chrome again and then add extension. Go ahead and do that. Once it says add to extension, it's gonna automatically download it and it's gonna pop up in the small little puzzle icon here, the extensions icon. You go ahead and pin this. I highly recommend pinning it so that you don't have to go inside the extensions time and again to find it. Editing your resume in less than 10 seconds according to multiple different job descriptions. Let's do that. Let's go to LinkedIn. Personally, I'm a big fan of LinkedIn, but I highly recommend applying for jobs on companies careers page. LinkedIn is a great platform, but for mainly for shortlisting companies and also networking within people of the industry, maybe the same job title as you are. So I highly recommend doing that. Now let's find a job. I'm just gonna pick on, uh, yeah, whatever last I searched, I was helping someone administrative assistant in the United States. Again, guys, very, very important to use these job filters. Experience level, you can choose whatever as according to who you are and what you're doing full-time. Date posted, very, very, very important. A lot of times what happens is companies do come up here, they post, they hire someone, but a couple of times they forget to take off the job description, the job that they've uploaded. So you don't wanna be wasting your time by applying to something that has been uploaded four months ago. So go ahead and choose this as past week and then it's going to cut down on so 22k and see how much it changes. All right, now you've narrowed down your search to only the companies that have uploaded administrative assistant positions in the past week. Now, how to use Jobalytics? You click here on the small little icon Jobalytics. You click here. What you're going to do is you're going to pull up your resume that you're using i'm going to use npm's resume template also guys if you're someone who's applying for jobs and want a good highly trusted tried and tested resume template you can download it from the description it has served over 40,000 students and it is helping more so if you're someone who's looking forward to a good resume template it's in the description all right now let's find all right here it is a resume template made for a production baker. So let's use this and see how it can be helpful for an, if he or she wants to get into administrative assistant. Let's do that. So you go ahead, upload your resume and click on analyze job description. All right, there's a 29% match. Now, the best part is it just not gives you the keywords that match your resume. That's where the magic happens. It also gives you all the keywords that are missing from your resume. So these are a couple of keywords that are missing from your resume now why are these keywords important here's the behind the scenes there is this beautiful yet ugly thing known as ats and i'm pretty sure you guys will relate to this how many times does this happen to you you apply for a particular job and the next morning itself you get a rejection email relatable yes it's not someone who's sitting behind the laptop waiting for you to apply and sending you the rejection email it's the ATS, the Applicant Tracking System. It's a system which helps companies shortlist good candidates by scanning their job description 
and matching it to your resume. If there's a good match, you automatically get shortlisted. If it's not a good match, you get a rejection email. So that's what it is. That's why it's very important for you to add these keywords. Now, let's say you found those keywords and within 10 seconds, guess what you can do? You can be like, hey, I pay attention to detail. I've collaborated. I have communication skills. I work cross-functionally. Also, guys, highly recommend do not add anything that you've not done. Do not fake it on your resume. HRs, talent acquisition experts, recruiters are very smart. They'll pick on it. So now let's add this. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's say one of them were communication skills. I'm going to start editing this resume that I uploaded. Communication skills. One of them was collaboration. Let's find other ones. Collaborate. Okay, attention to detail, communication skills, cross-functional. I'm just going to add a few ones and then I'll show you how easy it is. Also, guys, highly recommend if you're someone who does not have experience for more than five years, keep it to less than one page. Squeeze it down to one page. So again, we added two keywords, communication skills and attention to detail. And let's see how much it affects our score. Control S. Let's go back re-upload our resume, upload a new resume from 29%. Let's see. All right, from 29, we went up to 41%. And just like that, guys, within 10, 15 seconds, you can edit your resume by the keywords that you might have missed, but you already have, and add it to your resume according to different job description, and it can tremendously help you get more interviews because the ATS will pick it up. All right, now you have it all. You can edit your resume in less than 10 seconds now, according to different job titles and different job descriptions, guys. So good luck with your job applications and let us know if we missed anything. Add that to the comment and help our fellow immigrants. Good luck.